everyone, it's Samantha at Vanilla Mom, and I was going to film this in my scrapbook room, but the lighting right now is terrible, and it's the only time I have to film today. Uh, Olivia is taking her nap, and the lighting's just gonna get worse and worse in there, so I went ahead and just came down here to film. This is a quick stamping in planners video. I did a lot of ink testing in four planners, and I'm gonna walk you guys through the results, so I'll talk about just for a second, I'll talk about what I did. I just grabbed a regular old stamp from my collection and then tested it with all the different kinds of ink I have. So I've got a lot of dye inks. I've got Distress, Ranger, Tim Holtz brand, Memento, Stampin' Up, Simon Says Stamp, and Studio Calico. I just stamped a couple of them in each thing. I picked lighter colors because I am expecting bleed through in all of this. And I also picked up some new inks to try for planner stuff. These color box chalk inks, and I also picked up some Simon Says Stamp hybrid inks just to give them a try. And so basically I stamped all of the planners the exact same way, and then I just looked at the back of the pages. So as you can see, there is a ton of bleed through, and actually even on the camera, I think it shows a lot more than it does um, just looking at it here. So of the Stampin' Up ones, only this one, the dark pink, looks um, really bled through. The other ones are pretty subtle, and I could live with that. So I went ahead and circled the Stampin' Up one for this planner. This is the Simplified Planner from Emily Lay, and I do have a review of this one on my channel. I've been using this one as my main daily planner right now. So I could definitely get away with using some of these lighter Stampin' Up! colors in this one. I could totally get away with it because the great thing about the Simplified Planner is it's a page a day. So I only have to worry about bleed through um, for one day basically. So if I say I stamped this page, the next page, there would be a little bit of bleed through, but I would just have it for one day versus, you know, half of a week in most of the other planners. So definitely could get away with probably more than that especially like on the second day, I could go wild and stamp on it because I know it's not gonna affect anything but an old page so in the Simplified Planner. Next up is my Lime Life Planner, and this paper seems to be a lot thicker, so I did circle a lot more in this one. The paper's just really nice thickness, and I could probably get away with these bottom two, although they do have some shadowing. It's not nearly as bad as some of the other planners, so I could use any of the dye inks pretty much, and the chalk inks, um, definitely the top two are right here. You can't really see them. The other four you can see, but I loved the way they looked that I'll probably end up using some chalk ink. I was really excited to see a lot of them didn't bleed through so badly on the Lime Life planner. Next is my plum paper planner, and this paper also is a little bit on the thicker side, so I did I was able to circle quite a few things on this one, the color box, especially the lighter ones, and then Stampin' Up! and Studio Calico. So I'll look, show you the back of these. And for my own personal planning, I probably could get away with using some of these that shadow through just a little bit, but the um, Simon Says Stamp Regular Ink and the Hybrid Inks were definitely fails on this paper. And then last but not least is Erin Condren, and I was really surprised that not a bunch bled through. I feel like Erin Condren's paper is on the cheaper, thinner side, just like the um, Simplified Planner, but I was able to circle quite a few. So I got some shadowing on all of these, but I didn't think it was nearly as bad as, like the Simon Says Stamp inks bled all the way through, the chalk inks looked like they bled all the way through except the top two colors. So I could definitely get away with using the Memento, the Memento, the Stampin' Up! and the Studio Calico, and then the top two um, color box chalk inks. So all in all, so all in all with the inks, I was really impressed with the Stampin' Up! lighter colors not bleeding through all that much because I've heard dye inks are the worst, and I ended up having more dye ink success than um, chalk and hybrid ink success. So I hope you found this ink testing video helpful, and if you stamp in your planner, I would love to know what inks you've been using and how the bleed through is for you. I do want something that I can use that's not gonna bleed through all that much. I was happy with how some of these looked, but I would like more color options. So let me know what inks you use, how it bleeds through, and what planner you're using, what planner paper, um, because I really am trying to do more stamping in my planner. I bought a bunch of stamps and now it's just trying to find the perfect inks. 
Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like planner videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get back to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Um, and yeah, have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.